Having the opportunity to visit a Red Wing retail store recently to pick out the 10877 8-inch Maktu boots, which I recently reviewed, I was also able to get another long-standing question I've had answered, which is, how do the 9011 Beckmans, the Black Cherry Beckmans, compare to the 9016 Cigar Featherstone Beckmans? Both of these boots are colloquially known as gentlemen's travelers, and their round toe style, coupled with the high-end fully finished leathers, really border on a semi-formal or dress boot design. So this video isn't going to be a dedicated comparison to these boots since I didn't purchase either of them, but I was able to get some pictures for those of you who are wondering the difference between Black Cherry Featherstone and Cigar Featherstone. So please tune in to get some real-life side-by-side pictures of these two boots, as well as a breakdown of the design and construction that these boots share in common. To see briefly what these boots have in common, they have a fully finished leather upper. They have unlined construction with leather inserts on the inside of the shoe, a leather midsole, a Goodyear welt joining the upper sill lowers, and a Rosia or Commando outsole. Both the Cigar Featherstone leather and the Black Cherry Featherstone leather featured in these boots are considered a smooth finish or full finish leather. Fully finished leather means that a clear or pigmented substance has been applied to the top of the hide and that's going to provide extra abrasion resistance and it's going to be coated in such a way that it's also going to be stain and perspiration resistant. But perhaps most importantly, this kind of leather can be restored to color and luster through polishing. Hence it's a dressier and more formal leather found in these boots rather than the oil tan leather found in many other Red Wings. In my opinion, this fully finished leather is not as natural looking as oil tan leather. Red Wing has denominated this leather Featherstone after the Featherstone Township, which is in Goodhue County, Minnesota, which is the location of the SP Foot Tannery, where Red Wing sources their leather, and that tannery is also owned by Red Wing. I would describe the Cigar Featherstone leather as a medium bourbon tan leather. The color, for lack of a better way of describing it, is textured. That is to say, the color is textured. The leather is smooth. The color is not consistent through the hide perfectly. There are figments of dark browns or even blacks. It's actually an extremely engaging leather to behold. It's also less formal and will probably take on even more color variations as the leather develops patina. Now Black Cherry on the other hand is a more formal leather. It's a dark purplish red that has a blackish undertone and I would say it compares much to an oxbow leather or maybe a Cordovan leather. The leather is very rich and exhibits a lot of depth, but it lacks the nuance of the Cigar Featherstone. Fully finished leather is typically thinner and lighter than an oil tan leather, and if my experience of other fully finished leathers compares with these, these boots are going to take more time to break in than your typical pair of oil tan leather boots. Both of these boots have fully gusseted tongues and simple brass eyelets which are plated and round. The tongue is both attached through the eyelets and stitched to the uppers. The famous Red Wing triple stitch is accomplished through a century old heritage sewing machine. The inside of the shoe features a full leather toe box and a heel box also made of leather known as a heel counter. The full leather construction of these parts assures that the boot will more perfectly conform to the shape of your foot. And of course the insole of the shoe where the bottom of your foot is touching is also leather and that will conform more and more to the shape of your foot over time. The leather uppers of these boots are attached to the lowers via a Goodyear welt construction which utilizes a thin strip of leather that surrounds the main body of the shoe. The welt is stitched to the insole via the so-called Goodyear stitch and then stitched to the outsole via a lock stitch. This traditional construction technique ensures that these boots will be able to be recrafted and resold indefinitely. One of the most attractive features of the Gentleman's Travelers are the layered leather midsoles. The raw look of the midsoles provide a nice rugged contrast to the polished leather uppers. The outsole of the shoe is in three parts. The heel is in a Red Wing branded oil resistant rubber heel. The midsole is in genuine leather and the front half sole is in a commando pattern also known as a lager pattern. 
Interestingly, this pattern is claimed by Vibram as the original mountaineering sole of vulcanized rubber, created over 70 years ago by Milanese mountaineer Vitali Brami, who was the founder of Vibram. In my brief time with these boots, I wasn't able to detect any sorts of flaws in all the elements of construction. These are Red Wings flagship boots, and the level of quality exhibited in all of the parts of the boots are pretty evident. However, if I was looking for a pair of dress boots, I might look to Allen Edmonds or to Alden. If I had to choose between the two boots, I think I would prefer the 9016s with their more complex cigar leather. I want to make a quick addendum about sizing. These boots size about a half size too large. If you're going to be wearing them with just regular socks and with a leather insole, you want to size a half size down. The last of these boots is Red Wings number 8, and having uh, the Brogue Rangers, which are formed on the same last, I can say they're a fairly narrow boot if you even have a regular um, D-sized width, and so you're going to want to anticipate breaking these boots in for a little while. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. Like I said, it's not a full review because I can't speak to my experience of wearing these boots over any period of time, but if you'd like to see more heritage and traditionally crafted boot reviews, please consider subscribing.